Alligators, lightning, and sharks. Oh, my. On July 23, 1997, at 12.25 p.m., with alligators to the rear, sharks in the bay, and a hurricane forming off the coast of Cuba, Billy Cremano became the first person in recorded history to swim from the source of the Mississippi River at Lake Itasca, Minnesota, 2367.4 miles to the Gulf of Mexico. Part of his performance concept, he's developing technology to protect himself from the dangers of swimming in a river polluted with toxic chemicals. While some of these experiments are more whimsical than practical, they make a serious statement about a very real problem. I've been working on this for quite a while, that's why it's uh, the X2C. It's uh, going to have Lexan over the faceplate so I'll be able to see and then it has rubber uh, arms and hands and there will be some uh, legs that are totally waterproof added to it as well. Yeah, I think everyone will be wearing these you know, in the future. Here, the X3C polluted water wear is modeled by the lovely Laura Vinroot. Thank you, Laura. So this is the post-millennial bikini here. Yes. You actually get in on the action with this. So let's see how you enjoy getting in okay. the action with this. Up a little bit higher. Like this. If we can lean this whole thing back. Yeah. Shall we count down for you? Okay. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we have splashdown. Ah, here we go. Don't worry about a thing. Trust it, Billy, trust it. Oh. This is the inaugural voyage of the next 3 c Good work. Get ready. Good work. Good work. work. Yes. All right. <laughs> you doubted me, didn't you, Roy? I, I sort of did, yeah. I doubted you a little well, bit. I bet you're sorry now. <laughs> I've never felt better in my life. Watch out for the net. Watch out for the hook. Watch out for the gaping mouth. Swim, fishy swim. I reclaim the Mississippi Atchafalaya River system for life-affirming pursuits under the banner of art. <laughs> 